Hello, savers. Welcome back to Ray Saves. I'm your girl, Raquel, but please call me Ray. Now, if you are new to my channel, hey, y'all, hey. Over here, we try to be more intentional with our savings and spending through budgeting, cash envelope, and sinking fund stuffing, and savings challenges. Now, if you enjoy that type of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the Savers family. Now, today, guys, we will be doing my April 16th through the 30th cash envelope check-in. Now, guys, during this time, I will be showing you how much I spend spent in my cash envelopes and if I stayed on track for the past two weeks. But before we get started, I wanted to say hello to all my new subscribers. I appreciate all your encouraging comments that I've been receiving on my videos and I thank you guys for joining the family. Now let's get started. Okay guys, what we're going to go ahead and do is pull out my nice little um, Happy Planner micro notes, my cheat sheet, and my expense tracker i already have everything expensed and color coded and we're going to go ahead and go to my calendar view for april and note all of my transactions here we go make sure you guys can see it i'm going to zoom it zoom in just a little bit so we're tracking the 16th through the 30th um, so on the 16th, I actually had to get some gas and that was for $30 and one cent. And then on the 16th, um, which was that Friday, I actually, um, used money out of my personal envelope to go to Panera Bread and this is one of the reasons why I created a um, allowance envelope for myself because shouldn't be going into my personal care envelope for this type of transaction. I normally would go into my dining out, but I didn't want to do that either. So I decided to make an um, allowance envelope for myself. But for here, I spent eight dollars and. What's that, 52 cent, I think that is? Let me see, $8.50. And then on the 17th, I went to the grocery store and I spent $159.57 at Walmart. And then we're going to go, well, actually on the 17th as well, we went to Red Robin. So that's eating out. And you know what I'm doing this? This should be dining out. I'm doing it under the wrong thing. Dining out. That was for $69.61. Is that all for the 17th yet? Then we go to the 18th. I use money in my household envelope. Um, I had to get some um, stove cleaner and some other cleaner. I needed to clean my stove real good. So I went to um, Family Dollar and spent $8.20. And that was it for the 18th. I didn't spend any money on the 19th. On the 20th, I had to go to the grocery store again. And I spent $12.10. Nothing on the 21st. On the 22nd, I went to the grocery store again. My grocery envelope gets beat up every two weeks. It is rare that I have any money left over in that envelope, but it is what it is. So I spent $2.97. And I have here that I had to get some bread and tomatoes. Then on the 23rd again, I had to go back to the grocery store. And had to get water on something else. It was $5.54. And since that was a Friday again, I went to McDonald's and I spent money out of my personal care envelope again. And that was for $3. I got me a frappe and a um, sausage McMuffin. 
Guys, if you haven't tried McDonald's um, caramel frappes, try them. They are so good. On the 24th, I used money out of my grandkids' envelope. I took my grandson and my great niece skating, and we spent the entire $30. Then on that same day, I had to get them food while we were there, and that's under miscellaneous because I spent all the money in my grandkids' envelope. And whoo, it is expensive there. It was $17.05. Then on that same day, later on that evening, I spent money out of my dining out envelope because my grandson wanted some McDonald's and he actually eats the 10-piece um, McNugget meal. And I think I also got my husband a, a pastry. So that came up to $9.60. And then I had a no spin on Sunday, no spin on Monday, which was the 26th. Then on the 27th, I had to go back to the grocery store, but I used money out of my miscellaneous envelope for $9.91. And you'll see the reason why I spent it out of that is because I had no more grocery money. So next thing we're going to do real quick is color code these. So... Get that back into frame. And now real quick, let's go ahead and add up my no spend days. Seven. That's pretty good. Now, guys, I also want to let you know that going forward, this is will be my last time using this um, calendar and this expense tracker I'm about to show you because I now work as of May 1st in my Erin Condren planner. So I will be doing all of my tracking in my Erin Condren planner from May 1st going forward. So I wanted to let you guys know that. So we're going to go ahead and close this and set this off to the side. Okay, now guys, this is my expense tracker and this is what I um, typically use to track all of my expenses and see where I am at as far as how much money I have left in my cash envelopes. Now, um, if you have not seen any of my prior um, cash envelope stuffing videos, um, I will link one in the iCard. Um, but for groceries, I always stuff it with 200. Eating out is 80, but that has been increased. Grandkids is 30. Personal care is 30. Household is 20, but that has been increased as well. Mister Miscellaneous, 30, and gas, 60. And I also um, added two additional envelopes to my cash um, envelopes. So make sure you check out that video. So for gas, we started out with 60. And um, on the 16th, I used $30. I don't think I used any more since then. So my new balance for gas is going to be $30. So I'm going to bring that down here. The next one is personal care. Personal care, I started with $30. Um, I went to Panera Bread. And I use $8.50, but guys, remember, because of my $1 and $5 savings challenge, that is rounded up to $10. So that leaves me with actually $20 for personal care. And then, let's see, I know I did personal care again, or I went into that envelope again on the 23rd. I used $3. We're going to round that up to $10 because of my challenges. $20 minus $10. Leaves me with $10, and I don't have any other personal care on here. So we're going to bring $10 down for personal care. For groceries, groceries on the 17th, I went to Walmart and spent $150. We round that up to $160. We started off with $200. $200 minus $160 leaves me with $40. And then again, we went to Walmart on the 20th. And I spend $12.10. We round that up to 20 
40 minus 20 leaves me with $20. <laughs> I went to Kroger's on the 22nd, spent $2.97. We round that up to 10 because of my challenge. 20 minus 10 equals $10. And honestly, I hate when I go to the store and I have $10 or $20 bills in my cash envelopes and I only have to spend a small amount because that doesn't leave me with that much money left over in that envelope. But it is what it is because at the end of the day, that extra money is money that I'm actually saving in my savings challenges. So, so that leaves us with 10. Then on the 23rd, went to Kroger's again. Spent $5.54. We round that up to $10. So that leaves us with zero for groceries. And that envelope has been depleted. And then next we have dining out. On the 17th, we went to Red Robin. Spent $69.61. We round that up to $70. We started out with $80 for eating out. 80 minus 70, my bad, is $10. And then, let's see. On the 24th, I took my grandson to McDonald's. I had $10. We spent $9.05, round that up to 10. That leaves us with zeros. For, so for dining out, that envelope has been depleted as well. Next, we have household. I had to go to Family Dollar on the 18th. Household, we started off with 20. And we spent $8.20. We round that up to 10. That leaves us with $10. And I don't think I spent any more in that envelope, which I didn't. So we bring this $10 down for household. We've done our groceries. We've done our personal care. Um... Grandkids, on the 24th, I took my grandson and my great niece skating. Grandkids, we started off with $30. I spent the entire $30 there. So that leaves us with zero for grandkids. And then on that same day, while we were at the skating rink, we got some food because I needed to get them lunch. So, of course, I had to take the money out of my miscellaneous envelope. Remember, guys, I used my miscellaneous envelope for any time I go over in these other categories or for any other um, budgeted expenses. My miscellaneous envelope has $30. I spent $17.05. We round that up to $20 because of my savings challenges. $30 minus $20 leaves me with $10. And then because I had to go to McDonald's, not McDonald's, but Kroger's on the 27th, I had to use more money out of my miscellaneous envelope at Kroger's. I had $10 left, um, spent $9.91, so that leaves me with zero for miscellaneous. So, miscellaneous has been depleted as well. So the only, let me write grandkids here, G kids. The only envelopes I had money left in was Go ahead and add this up. Personal care had 10, household had 10, and gas had 30. Oops. 10, 10, 30. That leaves me with a total of $50 that is going into my leftover envelope savings challenge. Not too bad. I think it's a win when I do have money left over and I didn't go too far over budget. At least I had money in my miscellaneous envelope to compensate for when I took my grand, my grandson and my niece skating and when I had to go to Kroger. So any little bit saved counts and I'm, I'm happy about that. But with that, guys, that is going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and comment below. How are you guys doing on your um, 
if you do cash envelopes, how are you doing as far as staying on budget with your um, with your money? Now, again, if you are new to my channel, please, um, if you enjoy this type of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And guys, turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. But with that, I'm going to end this video. I will see you guys in the next one. God bless. Bye, guys.